Okay, boys and girls, this is where we're going to do value. We're gonna work from light to dark, and I'm gonna give you either red, or I'm gonna give you blue and white. So when we do a tint, it's when you add white to a color and you make it lighter, and when you do shade, you actually go darker, darker with that tone of color, and then you'd add black to make it even darker still. So what we're gonna do with some white tempera paint, and we're not even using water, okay? So we're just going straight into the brush, into the white and we're going to do a white band at the top of the paper so you can see here and then I'm going to use my red and just with the slight I'm just going to do a little bit more white there slightest dip of red not an awful lot we're going to blend that with the white that I've just done at the top and you can see how as I bring it down it's a little bit darker okay Oops. now I'm going to dip it again and I'm going to paint some more. Now, as you can see, I have not brushed or washed my brush. And I'm just gonna make sure I get the edges. Okay, so it's all done. And it's drying really fast as well. Dip it again, bring it down. Now, do you see how the value is working now? So I'm going from a white to a soft pink to a darker red. Dip it again, bring it across, nice, Strong, bold brush strokes. Making sure I've got my edges done there too. Now across again. And then it's gonna to get to the point where the red can't get any stronger. And this is where I'm going to just introduce the smallest amount of black, okay? So I'm gonna bring my red down. And just do a little bit more red there. So I really don't want a lot of black because what we're gonna do is so actually we're gonna use chalk, we're gonna draw on top of this surface when it's dry. So you can see, I'm gonna bring the black from the base and bring it up, whoops. Just bring it up. A bit, bit more black there, pull that base in, okay? Nice, strong, you see I'm trying to hold it with my fingers. And bring it out. All right, now I'm gonna set that to the side to dry. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually show you the other color in blue. So this is the red one, okay? And now I'm gonna show you with the blue. Right, I'm just gonna set this to dry. Get my brush. Same thing. Gonna dip it into the white. And Let's do some nice bold strokes across. Then, with my blue tempera paint, just the smallest amount again, not a lot, and introduce it to the white. So I've got a nice light color at the very, very top. Make sure I've got my edges done as well. Okay, so side to side. You're gonna be leaning on tag boards, so don't worry about the table. A bit more blue and blending it with that blue that I've just done and pulling it down towards the base of the paper. Okay, add a little bit more blue. And a little bit more blue, just go nice strong side by side. And here, if you wanna just keep going with the blue or if you wanna do what I did with the red, is just take the smallest amount of black and finish it at the base and just bring it from the base upwards. Now you have to kind of move fairly fast, okay? And you don't need an awful lot of paint on your brush. There's the blue. Actually, I really love the blue one because now what we're going to do is a marine scene. Okay, boys and girls, let's get this one done first and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna draw afterwards. Now it's your turn. Let's do a value background. Okay, boys and girls, now this is virtually dry, but what I wanted to show you, and this is optional if you want to do it, I'm gonna give you a hard bristle brush if you want to. Now if you see what I'm doing, I'm using my thumb and flicking it like that. I have added the smallest amount of water, so it's kind of got the consistency of cream, and just do a little tiny bit on the tips of your brush, okay? Don't overdo it, so lightly, and then just splitter splatter, and it creates some sort of like bubbles, okay? Now, if you want to do that, that's an option. You don't want to overdo it, 
Okay, because then when you come to doing the um, drawing, you don't want those big blobs of uh, wet paint. I'm just going to show you again. Again, I'm just going to do a little tiny bit on the tip of my brush, not an awful lot. See how I'm taking it off? And then I'm just going to use my thumb very lightly. I'm just going to do a little bit more. Splitter, the splatter and create some small bubbles that it's ready for my marine life. Okay, so that's an option if you want to do that. Next part is when I'm going to show you how you're going to do your drawings now. Okay, boys and girls, now we're ready to do our drawing. So we're going to get some white chalk and you're going to draw, you can do one, two, three. I'm going to give you a handout as well, uh, jellyfish. So think about what you want to do before you start making those marks, where you want to place them. I'm going to like say I'll do one here, one here and one here. So I'm already visualizing in my mind how I want my jellyfish to be. Then I'm going to have some uh, seaweed that works its way up as well through those jellyfish behind and in front. So first thing I'll show you here, we are going to draw a curve. Okay, so it's a bit like a rainbow, just a curve like that. All right, I'm just going to go over it so you can see it. And then I'm going to bring that curve and close it in. So it kind of looks like a shape of a bean. Okay, just bring it around like that. All right. Now I'm going to just lightly shade in with white that jellyfish body. Okay. And I'm going to show you something that we're going to do additionally with another color of chalk. Okay. But this is the white. Now when you get some chalk build up, don't blow it because you blow it across into your partner's face, but just tap it like that onto the table, okay? And you just keep the dust in your area. So I'm just going to colour that in. Now, the jellyfish, we're going to do, um, we're going to add some ripples underneath. So I'm going to just go like a scallopy line, like so, okay? And then I want to add some tentacles. So five or six long tentacles, the choice is yours. I'm going to bring one like that, one like that, and see how I'm making them wavy as well? Just wavy, but then I'm going to close them in. So I'm going to just bring it up from that point and close it in. So I've got one tentacle, bring it up and close it in, and another tentacle, bring it up, close it in, another tentacle, and there, and there. Now I said five or six. Now I was able to work to do with five there. Five would have been enough there. Now once I've done that, I'm going to then just add some longer ones, just individual, just to add a little bit of dimension to them, okay? Like so. And there's my first jellyfish. Can you see that boys and girls? But now what I want to do is get some blue chalk and this is where I'm just going to shade in and not the whole thing, but you see how the light is at the top here and it's getting dark as it comes down. So I'm going to imagine that the light is hitting the top of my jellyfish, which is what it would do at the surface of the water. And then I'm going to add some shading, which is value, around the under part of this bean shaped body. So I'm just going to take that shape and then use my finger and lightly blend it in. Now do you see what I've done there? Now I find that that blue is a little bit too light for me, so I'm just going to go and see if I can find a slightly darker blue. I could even use a green if I wanted to, but really what I want to do is just bring that up like that. Okay, now what I want to do is actually just highlight maybe some of these tentacles as well with some blue. Okay, and there is my first jellyfish. Now I said to you I wanted to do another one. I'm going to do a smaller one as though it's going away in the distance. What I'm going to do is actually create depth at that point and the darker one down here. But as if, I'm going to finish this off and you'll be able to see it, but what I want to do with this black crayon, or if I gave you an oil pastel, is from the base is to bring up a line. Again, you see what I'm doing? Nice wavy organic line. And then add in some seaweed. Now again what I'm doing, if you watch what I'm doing, I'm actually curling the crayon as I draw that line and then I'm getting like real true organic as though this seaweed is actually moving in this beautiful water. Okay, so I'm going to actually do 
my additional jellyfish and I'm actually going to work on the, the red one that I did as well. So you're going to see what the two finished products look like and also some student examples as well boys and girls. So there you go boys, there you go girls, now it's your turn. Let's use our chalk and let's add some full with blue or red chalks on top of the white chalk. Now it's your turn, let's make some jellyfish. <laughs> 